King weighed 36 pounds at the shelter. His photo on Facebook spoke to me. I had weight issues of my own and knew that I'd be able to help him. King ended up at the shelter because his owner passed away. It is my understanding that his owner had Alzheimer's, so just kept feeding King. I am adopting King today. This will be my first time meeting him. I hope he can learn to love again. <laughs> hey, baby. Holy cow! We're gonna have such good times. Well, I could not imagine a more perfect fit than this. Like this. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Can you hold it? There we go. And he's on rollers because he's really heavy. Doing okay? We did it! <sighs> oh. There we go. We're home. Two. King has a special room that I set aside for him to get accustomed to being in the house for a couple of days. Good boy. Here you go. He just walked out and was like, this is my room. Okay, cool. I'm here. Oh, oh yeah. Sweet boy. Stop. Yeah. The first night I snuck into his room, I just went and laid down in the middle of the rug. And he immediately got up and put his head on my arm and he turned on his purr. It sounded like an F-150 truck. It was shaking the walls. And that moment, he's mine and I'm his. I'm really worried about how Rufus is gonna react when he sees King. Rufus is three times smaller than King. The big kitty. Look at the big kitty. Can you see the little puppy? Look at that. What do you think? Okay. Good boy. Stay back. Give him some, some space. Good boy. Yeah, what? <laughs> he just kind of sat there and was just really mellow and just was beautiful. The door's open. It's all yours. Here we go. Good boy. Okay, another bathroom. Ooh. Okay. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. King did a full tour of every room. He seemed to like to be under the beds. The funniest part of King exploring, watching him determine whether he can fit somewhere. I think he thinks he's a tiny kitten. As soon as I saw that King was overweight, I just knew that we would be great together. I think everybody struggles with weight one way or the other, and it is tough. And how you eat and what you eat and when you eat are just are really tough decisions. And five years ago, I was diagnosed with diabetes, and I just made a decision that I was gonna choose life and started an entirely different life plan and lost 127 pounds. Long-term goal for him is really weight loss to get him to a better quality of life, to be able to do more cat things like run around, play, jump, and so forth. Now that he's in a situation where he's going to have a controlled amount of food, I think he's off to a good start and in a good place to, to be successful. And then got a medium dog bed for him. And then I went and got as many toys as possible for exercise. I'm hoping that he and I zen into the weight loss. So what I want to try and do is make sure that he moves as much as possible, that he's going to say, hey, this is great, and be happy here. Good boy. I'm proud of you. My big picture hope for King, truthfully, uh, is to get healthy. My plan is to do a little video uh, with me in my marathon clothes and King in his harness, and we're gonna have slow motion, pretending to run, and then to have chariots of fire playing. So we well, don't- I can Oh, hey, I may have, I may have to hire you. That would be the diet icing on the low calorie cake. Like, comment, and subscribe.